Hi, I'm Ruben, coach of the Seahawks. Uh, today's verse is, talks about the bond between leadership and teamwork. Um, it's Proverbs 11:14. Without wise leadership, a nation falls. There is safety in having many advisors. Hi, Mr. Working Bristow. Together. Working together. Yeah. What about Josh? I see. Uh, come on now. Yeah, like you said, working together. Being a team. Being one. Being one. Yeah, being one. When you throw them jerseys, we all one team. We all one. One. We a family. One family. That's it? That's all y'all got? It's not just my friends, it's my brothers. Brothers. <laughs> White chocolate, aka. Oh yeah, Ebony and Ivory out here. Zan? Hey. I think I got the most diverse team in uh, Timote. Oh, the worst team? We got, yeah. Team. We got the best team in Timote. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is uh, Gabriel Wang and I'm the pastor of By Grace Alone Church on 1300 Dyer Street. Y'all are welcome to come through anytime. We have 2.30 service at Sundays. But the, the verse for this week is, Without wise leadership, a nation falls. There is safety in having many advisors. Proverbs 11.14. And you know, I was thinking about this, and I was thinking about my own life and just how I've had to actually build into my life just people that, that will hold me accountable, people that will just kind of be there for me, that I don't have to depend on my own instincts all the time, or I don't have to depend on my own wisdom, but I have a group of people around me that, that surround me and that, that help me in the ministry. But I was also thinking about how Jesus, he purposely had 12 disciples. He purposely chose 12 people to come around him, and not so much that he needed to have them advise him, but that he knew later on when he was gone, when he rose and, and went to heaven, that he was going to leave the ministry, the call, the gospel to them to do what they had to do, the mission that was on them to win the game in a sense, to win win the lives of people. And so so he knew that they needed each other, that it couldn't just be fought on one person. As a matter of fact, there was this one person, his name is Peter, he's one of the disciples, and he was always hanging out with John and James and, and the other disciples, but later on in life, Peter who walked on water with Jesus. I mean, he kind of fell out a little bit when he walked on water, but J Peter, who, who his uh, very shadow, the Bible says his shadow, healed people. Um, it's crazy, but this same Peter had to be checked by this other guy named Paul. And he had to have that accountability because Peter was wild now. He was doing stuff that, that wasn't honoring Jesus. And so you think about your team. You think about, you know, um, how, how your team gels together, how your team focuses on the goal. The goal is to win the game, right? But you've got to win with integrity. And you have to win um, with, with, with bringing the rest of the team up. It's not, it can't just depend on one person. So it's important to, to kind of look towards your other teammates, to look at their strengths, and to look at how they can help you be a better teammate and win games together. So guys, I, I just hope you guys have a great time. Uh, be blessed and be safe on the field. God bless you. Take care.